What's up internet? This is the 84th Wolf and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Watches. Today I'll be bringing you the newest death battle, Quicksilver vs. The Flash. Now, uh, first let me just apologize for uh, my lack of uh, videos lately. Had some technical problems and a couple of things I needed to take care of. But I'm back and I'm ready to show this. Uh, part two of uh, notes is that this video is 18 minutes long, so I'm going to have to divide it into uh, two parts. Thanks to the copyright strike, so uh, this will be a breakdown. Next video will be the, the fight, so just tune in. So let's uh, jump right into this. Uh, Flash versus Quicksilver. The only, the only thing I know about Quicksilver is what I've seen in the latest uh, so, uh, Captain America, or not Captain, Avengers movie, Avengers 2. And I know that uh, he was supposed to be like, in the X-Men universe, he was the son of Magneto. So that's, that's all I know about him. I don't know too much about his powers or anything like that, except from what I've seen in the movies. The Flash, I know a little bit more. And just because um, I, the Flash pretty much can do almost anything. <laughs> So, uh, but he is pretty cocky, but I still, uh, from what I know, I'm going to give the edge to the Flash. So, uh, without further ado, let's take a look. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Warcraft. From legendary pictures and universal pictures, and based on Blizzard Entertainment's worldwide phenomenon. Two heroes are set on a collision course that will decide the fate of their family, their people, and their home. Warcraft a needs to make another saga of power and sacrifice in which mother, war has many that, faces another game and everyone has something to fight for. Warcraft comes to theaters June 10th. Not Watch this, the trailer uh, at www.warcraftmovie.com. Tickets are now available on like Fandango and I better see you there. No, really, I'm so excited. It's going to be cool. In terms of how the movie is going to be, I have no idea. I not interested, don't think it's gonna be very good. A long, long time ago, mankind began to walk. And then we ran. And ever since that moment, we've been pushing speed to its very limits. Or in this case, past the point of absurdity. The Flash, DC Comics Scarlet Speedster. And Quicksilver, Marvel's fast-talking Avenger. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Be more of a race than a death From battle. From Wonder Woman to Superman, there is no shortage of DC heroes capable of achieving superhuman feats. But only one is truly synonymous with speed itself. The Flash. Ah! Of course, but they had a But before he became The Flash, he was only known as Barry Allen. Like many superheroes, Barry's lagging in the whole living parent department. One day after returning Barry home, Allen he discovered his Wally mother West, had been murdered, and his father had been wrongly universe. convicted of the crime. Knowing Dad was innocent, Barry vowed to clear him of the crime and became a forensic scientist for the Central City Police. What? Dear old dad died before Barry could set him free. Oh, really? Racked yeah. with grief, this only strengthened Barry's resolve to find his mother's real killer. And on one fateful night when he was doing some sciencey stuff, he got struck by lightning and then fell into some chemicals. Now, normally, this would be incredibly fatal. But since this is comic books, Alan was imbued with the power to move his body at incredible speeds and became the Flash. Ah! Classic superhero logic. You're probably thinking, okay, cool, he's like fast enough to run across water now, but there's a whole slew of other benefits that come with his new power. Like accelerated healing, enhanced strength, the ability to absorb kinetic energy from others, a brain that works faster than a supercomputer, and the ability to throw lightning. To do any of this, Flash draws his power from the Speed Force, an extra-dimensional energy source which, when synced with the living beings by electric field, amplifies and distorts their perception and placement in individual time versus time outside their own field. What? That was my reaction. Uh, in layman's terms, it's kind of like uh, the Force in Star Wars, but instead of Jedi tapping into its power, it's comic book speedsters. Okay, that I makes a see. little bit more sense. <laughs> Think of it as its own dimension that the Flash can use as a power source and also enter on his own whim. 
Plus, it's pretty handy for getting the flash out of jams when an author writes him into a corner. Sure. Also, while other speedsters like Max Mercury and Wally West use the speed oh, force, Wally West is Barry is the actually the one who generates it. Sorry, and I'm boy, just can my, he do some lore ridiculous stuff. The two. When push comes to shove, he can easily break the speed of light over 670 million miles per hour. Jesus Christ. He once rescued everyone from a collapsing apartment building, then used the public library to learn everything he needed to rebuild the whole place. And then he did it. All before the cops showed up. <laughs> oh, and he can run on clouds. Apparently, he does this by vibrating his feet in such a way that the ice crystals within the clouds are collected underneath him to provide footholds, which is an affront to science. <laughs> Speed Force, Wiz. Anyway, his just, brain is fast enough to perceive anger. events in less than an attosecond. He once called the Justice League supercomputer slow, which, by the way, process at 100,000 trillion calculations a second. The Speed Force also absorbs damage like a shield, because at this point, what can it do? Make waffles? <laughs> Probably. He was once blown up by enough grenades to send him flying into a tree, breaking it in half. To snap a tree like that requires at least 70,000 pounds of force. Ouch! But he was up and running around in no time thanks to Speed Force healing. Right, like the time he got stabbed through the leg but minutes later stood up and ran fast enough to outrace a nuclear blast and break the time barrier. Yes, I said time barrier. Did you ever hear the phrase New 52? Like where DC rebooted its whole universe and everyone's backstories? Yeah, Flash... Flash did that. All of it. <laughs> Batman's dad told him to. You'd think time travel would be an awesome skill to have, but not really in Flash's case. While well-intentioned, his hot-headed time-hopping adventures usually end up making things worse. Like yeah. when he tried to save his mom's life and ended up ruining the entire universe instead. Break the sound because barrier. Because that's what happens, Sonic right? Boom. Yeah, screw you broke time. the time barrier, Flash. Time boom. Ripples of distortion radiated out through that point of impact, shifting everything just a tiny bit, but enough. Also, it is possible for others to disrupt Flash's connection to the Speed Force, making him lose his abilities. But with fast healing, time travel, extra dimensional power, he's done a lot for a guy who can run really fast. Hey, really, what can't he do with those powers? They just make it up as they go. Alright, Quicksilver. An amazing man once said, to achieve great things, one must sacrifice stability and push one's limit past sanity. And few people embody those words better than Quicksilver. Wait, who said that quote? I did last week when I got my sweet new dune buggy and jumped that lake. No, you just said, hold my beer, and drove it straight into the water. Well, come on, stay on topic. Quicksilver goes fast. Uh, yeah, that's true. And I guess your fake quote kind of applies because Quicksilver's life has been anything but stable. I mean, his origin story is absolutely insanely convoluted. I guess that's what happens when competing movie studios both inadvertently own the rights to the same character. There you go. Yeah, don't worry, I got it. Basically, Quicksilver and his twin sister, what the, the Scarlet Witch, with were born Pietro and Wanda. That to is a not a child's face in either of those shots. Maria Maximoff. But as babies, they were kidnapped by a guy they call the High Evolutionary. He experimented on the two children and then returned them to their parents. Only now they had super cool powers. But Pietro and Wanda were later tricked into believing that they were the mutant children of Magneto, abandoned by their mother and so handed off not... to gypsies oh, by a God. cow lady midwife. What the hell? You know, it doesn't even matter. They're the kids of gypsies and they have super cool powers. Well, with all the instability in his personal life, it's no wonder Pietro Maximoff has been known to bounce from alliance to alliance. Like when Magneto saved him from an angry mob, he joined the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, where Magneto gave him his sleek costume and his new name, Quicksilver. But when Magneto got his ass kicked, Quicksilver joined the Avengers. Because what's loyalty when you can't even keep track of who your dad is? <laughs> I wish I at least knew where my dad was, though. Probably as far away as possible. Um, well, one benefit <laughs> is that all was this cold, back and man. Forth across the line in the sand is that Quicksilver's had training and experience from both sides of the spectrum, from the likes of Captain America to Mastermind. But really, when you're fast enough to disappear in the blink of an eye, who wouldn't want you on their team? After all, Quicksilver is all about speed. 
He can heal fast, think fast, learn fast, and of course run around really freaking fast. He can run around an opponent so fast he forms a tornado, sucking away the oxygen and suffocating them. Flash is he done. can easily run on water and maintain speeds of more than 700 miles per hour for extremely long periods of time. And if things are looking serious, he can crank it up even further and become fast enough to outrun a radio wave. Radio waves are a kind of electromagnetic radiation and thus travel the same speed as light, meaning Quicksilver can run well over 670 million miles per hour. Wow. Much like Wiz seeing himself in the mirror every morning, Quicksilver has survived some pretty terrifying things. Yeah, and hey. He has taken a hit from some of Marvel's strongest heroes, including Hercules, the god of strength himself. He doesn't even flinch at the destructive shockwaves made by his own speed. And one time, he ran up a mountain so fast, he accidentally launched himself into an airplane and fell 39,000 feet down into the ocean and survived! He's Man, fine. that's crazy to think about. He'll get Speaking up. of thinking, his brain can process and retain information so quickly that he memorized Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata by ear and could play it himself in just about a minute. A feat which takes an average person years to perfect. Despite having a taste for calming and refined music, he's incredibly impatient and has been known to lash out in anger and annoyance. Why does that sound familiar? You shut your mouth before I shut it for you! I rest my case. Ah, Quicksilver also has a tendency to run headfirst into danger without thinking things through. <laughs> rest your case? I'll rest your case! Alright, just don't trip on that. Ah! Ah, I hurt my balls. Just finish the rundown. What's going on in that <laughs> office? Well, despite his brashness, Quicksilver is a tragedy hardened speed freak who I wouldn't cross for even a second. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to stop me. Go ahead, try. And done. Next time, try a little harder. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle!